Look, bitch, I ball like the pisses. These niggas be dissing. The shots I be missing. These niggas so fake when they be a new dish. And both stay in your lane, nigga. You better listen. Bought a new chain that cost more your tuition. These bitches so nosy. She got supervision. They think that they young nigga made better decisions. I be the main one. That's all be intention. It's shining the finer. These niggas be wildin'. I'm all in your head like a motherfucking liner. She callin' my phone, but you know I'm declining. I fuck for an hour. Ball like perfect timing. I got intentions that I'm making rigid. These niggas be lying. These niggas be snitching. Fuck her, I leave it. I might just have the camera down. Until we get into the extra one. Yeah. Let's go here, you know. <laughs> I feel like we should. Man, we had just made it to the mall about to link up with Day Day and Neil. I don't think they got like no um, regulations, guys. Like, but they got security guard right there. No way. Mm -hmm. uh, they, didn't, they didn't say anything. But no, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but all that they'll do is just tell us to put it up, and yeah. that's that's it. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna see it. So, I've been cutting ever since I got home. Like, as soon as I got home from school, I already had people waiting for me to cut their hair. So, I cut about five people straight. And so, I cut, like, from three to six, probably, like, five people. And now I'm finally getting home, finally getting to lay down. Like, school had really worn me out today. I don't know what it was. I got like four boxes and packages just like this one. I didn't even get to open when I got home because I already had people waiting. That's how busy I've been. And even now, I just got home and I just picked up the camera so I could vlog. Let y'all know what's been going on. Um, and I want to let y'all know that not everyone is comfortable with being on camera. Like, not everyone wants to be exposed like that or like be put out there like that. So it's kind of hard. Like, getting shots and all that but i try my best i try to put anyone in there that i can or anyone that's willing to go in there but i appreciate the ones that do go in there and also the ones who don't like it's all good too i used to be like that like not want to be on camera and stuff yeah i'm gonna go ahead and eat oh okay well <laughs> i don't care all right y'all probably can't see me i just got through eating um I was gonna open up the packages for y'all, but I gotta come back over here and cut because they're ready now. So they're on their way. I'm gonna just show you what I use and stuff right now. Or I probably won't go, in, go into detail. Like I'm gonna just show y'all my station or whatever. All right, so this is where I cut hair up. This is my second house, basically. Um, it's right beside where I live. So basically we just bought these two houses together. So basically we bought this house with our other one and it was getting remodeled to move up in but they never finished it. I don't know what happened. They just stopped. Um, so yeah, I just cleared out this room mainly to cut hair up in and all that.
So as you can see, I got a little bit of everything. Everything from like barber uh, supplies and like stuff I use to cut hair. From like facial stuff to uh, to a snow scraper or whatever this thing is called for my car during the winter time since it's about to hit winter um it's coming up pretty soon some curl product a new super fast sd card for this camera right here so i can fit more like footage on one card since this is 128 the ones that i got right now are like 64 and 32 so like that's double what i can fit on this one um but yeah today they ended up not showing up so that's why i just skipped straight to this or they sh they showed up late actually like i was already i was already done shut down and everything because i had been waiting over there like for an hour for them to come so, and i would always be seeing like videos when i first started cutting hair be on time for your clients be on time for their appointments and i'm i'm always on time if not like if you're taking a little too long, I might come over to the house and sit here and wait till you say I'm here to walk over to my other house to cut your hair. But I'm never just gone without letting you know. You can't expect me to still be able or available when you just said two whole hours ago that you was going to come. So like that's where you got to do your part of staying on time um, and respecting my time because I got a life too. I just don't cut hair. That's not all I do. Like, I got a life too. I do other things. I like to go places. And just let me know if you're going to run late. And I'll let you know if I'm going to still be able to. Like, you could tell me, hey, I'm going to go to the mall with some friends for a couple hours. And um, are you still going to be able to cut my hair later? Instead of just, like, not telling me at all and expecting me to wait. And then when you show up and didn't let me know and I'm gone or something or if I'm too busy to get you in you can't be mad because you never let me know go ahead and subscribe if you're not already and click that notification bell turn on all the post notifications so you see all the videos I drop I post a wide variety of videos or playing on that on this channel um, comment in the comment section like anything any type of video you want to see in the future because I've really been trying to come up with ideas and I just I just want um, to see y'all's input. I hope y'all have a good night or a good day, whatever time you're watching this. I appreciate you watching this. But yeah, this is Austin Mars TV, and I'm out.